In this video, what I'm going to do is show you how to take one of your Android Studio projects and put them out onto GitHub. This is really easy to do, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have Git installed onto your computer. What this is going to allow us to do is actually take the files from Android Studio and push them out onto GitHub. Now to make sure that you have Git installed onto your computer, open up your terminal, type in the word git dash dash version, and then hit enter. And if the terminal responds with a version of Git, you should be good to go to skip to the next section of this video. If not, I'll show you how you can get that installed onto your computer. Assuming you didn't get a nice response within the terminal, to download Git, you're going to come over to a browser, type in Git download, and you should click on this very first link here. I'll throw this link down in the description below so you don't have to go looking for this page. But once this page is loaded, come over to this download section and click on the operating system you're currently on. I'm on a virtual Windows machine, so I'm going to click on the Windows section. I'm going to come down to the standalone installer and then click the 64-bit version here. And then what should happen is an executable should begin to download. And then once it's finished downloading, we're just going to run the executable. I'm going to click yes, and then scroll down, click next. And then what you're going to do is make sure you keep this at the default path. What Android Studio can do is auto detect Git so you don't have to tell it where you installed it. So I'm going to leave it here and then I'm going to click next about a million more times, keeping everything as the default. And then once Git's done installing, I'm going to uncheck this and click finish. Now, before we move ahead, what we got to do is make sure that it installed correctly. So I'm going to go and type in terminal and pull this up. And then we're going to type in that same command that we did earlier. So git dash dash version and then hit enter. And you should get a version in response to entering in this command. Now that you have Git installed on your computer, what we need to do is tell Android Studio the location of the executable file. Now, nine times out of 10, Android Studio just auto detects the location of it. But I always like to double check. So let's go over to file come down to settings, and then we're going to expand the version controls section here, and then come down to Git. Now at the very top here, you should see auto detected and the path to git.exe. Now on the off chance Android Studio didn't auto detect this file, come over to this little folder button here and navigate to the path of the executable. So I'm gonna click cancel here because it auto detected, and then we're gonna come over and click test. Now if Android Studio returns a version for Git, you're all set up and good to go. The next step is creating the repository on GitHub. So make your way over to github.com, log in and go to your repository section, come over to new, and then we're going to just create a basic repository for this video. I'm going to call it genetics calculator, going to make this private, come down and click create repository. With a repository all set up, we're going to then navigate back over to Android Studio and we're going to set up our version control system. So I'm going to cancel out of this. We're going to go to version control system, come down to enable version control, and then make sure you have Git selected in this checkbox and then click OK. All of your files should then turn red. This is perfectly normal. We're then going to come over to the far left and change this from Android to project. Right click on the topmost folder, come down to Git, and then click add. So this is going to add all of the files to our version control system. Then once that's done, we're going to go back, right click on the topmost folder again, come down to Git, and then we're going to commit directory. You should then see a window that's pretty similar to this. You're gonna type in a commit message. I'm just gonna call it initial commit. And then you're gonna come down and click the commit button. And then I have this warning that pops up. I'm just gonna click commit. There's really nothing wrong with the project. And then we're gonna come up to the top toolbar, click on Git, and then come down to push. And then what we have to do is define a remote. So this is just the repository that's on GitHub. So we're going to define remote and then we need the URL of the repository. So if we go back to GitHub, I can copy this link right here and then come back to Android Studio, paste that in. Once you click OK, we're then presented with a login window. You're given two options to log into GitHub. You can either log in directly or you can use an access token. I always use a token, so we're going to click this and then it's asking us to paste in our login token. To generate this, we're going to go back over to GitHub. Then once we're here, we're going to go over to our profile, come down to settings. We're going to scroll all the way down to developer settings, and then we're going to click personal access tokens, the tokens classic, come over to the far right, click on this generate new token, and then we want the classic one. From here, you can type in a little note. So this is just a YouTube. I always come down, make this as small as possible. So it's seven. I think you can do a custom one too. And then there's a few boxes you need to check here so you can actually upload your project. You need to select the repo. 
you need to come down, you need the read org section here, and then you also need the gist. So once you have these selected, come all the way down and click generate token. So what we're gonna do is come over, we're going to copy this, come back over to Android Studio, and we're just gonna paste this in, and then click log in. So once you paste that token in, it should log you into your account, and then all we have to do is click push. And then you should see this little message down here. This indicates that it was successful. If we come back over to GitHub, if we go to the repositories, our new repository, you should see all the files from Android Studio is now on GitHub.